right, today's topic we're talking about working with shlank lines and trying to keep your glass, ground glass joints together. So as you can see, we have this shlank flask here with a glass stopper. Uh, normally what you guys are taught in organic chemists to use a cut clip. Well, if you use a cut clip, you simply just put it on the back side like that. But you don't really want to use cut clips in inorganic synthesis, especially with shlank lines, because what will happen is, is you're often building up high pressures in flasks or between joints, and then it'll just push this apart and the thing with pet clips is they don't give. They just hold on to a joint together until suddenly they fail. And what will happen is your flask will break or you'll have this glass joint go flying apart and you'll have stuff shattering all over, over your hood or your respective area. So cut clips, not good when using shlank lines. The better approach is to use rubber bands. And the case of rubber bands is when you see them, they stretch. And that's really useful when using shlank lines because what will happen is, is that as you start to build up pressure, the rubber bands will stretch, causing the, the respective joint to open up, release the pressure, and then seal back up as the rubber bands pull together. And I'll show you this a little bit here. So if we're looking at trying to rubber band this respective shlank flask here, it's good to kind of wrap it around the top here. You can wrap it around a couple times if you want, like this, if you need it shorter, if you have a really long one, and then you can wrap it around the bottom and hold it here. So you can see I just wrapped it around the, the bottom and back up to the top. The key there with this Schlenk flask again is you want some kind of downward pressure. So with this respective joint here, it wants to push up. So as you can see is if this was building up pressure, it would push this stopper up. And if I let go, you see how the rubber band holds that joint back closed? This is why we want to use rubber bands when we start doing Schlenk line chemistry. And the key about having it pull downward is that as you the joint comes apart, it pulls it back shut. If you have it where the rubber band goes, say, some students, when they start to rubber band stuff, they'll say, well, let's do it this way and have that hold tight so you can see that way. Horizontal leverage is not good because what will happen is, so let me take off the other one so I'll show you what will happen when the joint's released. So if we have this, this horizontal type pressure here, what will happen is, now if we pull it out, you see it's going to pull it that way, and that's where things are going to break. So, don't put it horizontal. The key is, is you want to have it downward pressure. So anything here, so again, this is a little bit bigger rubber band, so we'll wrap around the top, around the bottom, and there. And a way you can double check is, again, just kind of pulling it out, letting it go, and you'll see that the joint will be closed shut. So how about if we have something else besides just a Schlenk flask? If we have three neck flasks, we're gonna put a condenser on, so we have a condenser. So we'll put that up right, right here. You can see that uh, right in there. I'll quick clamp it on the top so it doesn't move around so much. All right, so how would you actually clamp this now and put more bands on it? So there's a couple ways. Uh, again, see you have the water lines here. That can be very helpful. So use actually the parts of your clamp so you can actually kind of go like this around it and then back down here. So as you can see, now these are downward pressure help holding that joint closed. Uh, so you can put that on there. You can also do it around the fingers if you help, anything like that, but make sure the pressure is straight downward. Same thing goes now if we add an addition funnel. So we'll add an addition funnel here. If you want to have some kind of downward pressure, again, you can do something like this, put it on there, and then back down. So again, holds it down, some kind of downward pressure. You can sometimes even wrap it around here if you want, anything along those lines. Uh, how about if we want to add some kind of addition funnel or an adapter? So what we can do here is you can do some different ways to do this, is you can take a rubber band here, or put a little loop in it, and then run it through. So you kind of have this little uh, loop like this. You can write that on it and then kind of do it downward on that, wrap it around. You know, I'll move it over a little bit so you can see you can wrap it around the little, uh, that. So you can wrap it around here a little bit on the clasp, uh, clamp adjuster. So you help pull it down so you can see it's kind of pulling it in there a little bit. So again, the big key rubber bands, anywhere you can do a downward pressure, to help hold those joints in place. Do what you can using the clamps around you. Uh, you can even use, again, the fingers of the clamp to help hold them down. But again, the key, rubber banding. Use rubber bands to hold glass joints together and make sure it's downward pressure. All right?
Good luck with all your schlank work. Thanks.